With the December update for Power BI, many new fantastic features have been rolled out to the Power BI community. However, the one that really caught my attention was the new functionalities and customization of data labels that came with the update. With the new update, we can now change the fonts, the colors, and a lot more with our native visual Power BI data labels, which is simply fantastic. The new update also brought an extra functionality which we've already seen in the new cards visual and something that we discussed in this video to which you can find the link in the description below. And that functionality is adding more context to our data labels by incorporating extra measures. Doing this is pretty easy. Going into the format panel, finding data labels, and then under details, just adding a measure that you want to also have be presented on your visualization. Now, having this option to add even more context to your data labels is a very welcome addition. However, I do feel that the implementation out of the box could use a little bit more optimization. Let me stress again that having this ability to add extra context to our numbers is a welcomed one. And the first time that I heard of this functionality, I immediately, just like many of you, probably thought about comparisons. And comparing our data to previous year, maybe to our plan, is the best way to really answer the question of are we doing better or worse. However, with the implementation that we have today, this is of course possible just like you saw. However, right now it's really hard for me to tell what measure are we actually using as the comparison. So is this the previous year number? Is it the plan number? Or is it just some other random number that we decided to put on our visualization? So this is one thing that is missing. The other thing is it would really help us if we could visualize these differences as well, right? Visualizing our variance is to immediately understand are we doing better or are we doing worse? So all of this can actually be achieved with the native visuals by incorporating quite a lot of DAX, manual work, or maybe even some extra tools to get the labels to be the way that we want them. However, today let me show you a quicker, faster and better way of creating visualizations that have very good data labels out of the box. So consider this video as a little bit of a warning or maybe a challenge for the next time that you're visualizing data and using the new data labels. To see what to strive for, let me give you some examples of how data labels should look like from the International Business Communication Standards, of course, visualized with Zebra BI visualizations that are all out of the box certified by IPCS. Going with the definition of international business communication standards, data labels assign data values to their respective data visualization elements. And the first thing that they really stress is that you should standardize the positioning of your data labels to really help speed up the comprehension of your data. Let's see this in an example. You can download the visualizations for Zebra BI free from the description to follow along. In horizontal axis category charts, this would mean that we position our data labels above or below our visualization elements. For stack chart, we should usually center them in the middle of our data points or to the outside if those are too small. For vertical category axis charts, we usually put our data labels to the left or to the right of our visualization elements. The next few guidelines tell us to omit the data labels for small elements, that we should only use data labels that have three or less digits, and that we should always write our data labels horizontally for better readability. So the last and the most crucial guideline that we have for this story is that we should always keep our data labels next to our visualization elements. And this is where the new details that we can add to our data labels really, I think, fail. So what would be the right way to do this? Let's check out Zebra BI and let's do this example again. So to visualize this example, we simply need to drag and drop our previous year measure into Zebra BI. 
Zebra BI will then automatically calculate and visualize all of our variances and put them straight onto our visualization. Of course, also with our data labels. So as we can see, our variance data labels also follow quite strict rules to help with comprehension. The positive ones include a plus sign and are colored green, and the red ones mean they are negative and also include a minus sign. They are always positioned outside of our visualization elements and are also aligned with the direction of our positive and negative increases. So in practice, this means the Zebra BI gives you an easy and fast way to add more clarity to your data visualizations by adhering to the IBCS guidelines. This does not mean, however, that we do not allow you to make changes where you want changes to be made. So changing fonts or colors of uh, your data labels is pretty simple and can be done right on the visualization. You're also able to change the detail of your data labels with a simple click turning it from absolute to relative or even both. So this is it for today's video. Be sure to grab Zebra BI from the description below and tell me in the comments are you happy with the new functionality of adding extra details to your existing data labels. Also tell me the way that you're going to use it in your reports. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon, data wizards.